Texaco, then anywhere we want to go, I know I'm going to get there next to you. Guess what? We have not washed our clothes in three months. Oh my god, it still smells good. And I'm willing to <laughs> sniff his pits. <laughs> and the reason why is because of Unbound Merino. His shirt and my pants are merino wool and thank you so much to Unbound Merino for sponsoring this video so that we can show you how we actually do laundry in RV life. When we first started life on the road, we honestly did not have a plan for our laundry. Throughout the last year living in our RV, we've learned some tips and tricks that will definitely help you with laundry on the road. Neither one of us had been to a laundromat before starting life on the road, but they're just like going to a community washer dryer machine if you ever lived in an apartment complex. They're no different. The clothes wash faster, they actually have better machines, and we're gonna tell you all the tips on how to do laundry when living in your RV. The first step is picking up everything you need. Now, when we're looking between liquid and pods, we always choose liquid because every washer is different. When we're choosing between big detergent and small, we choose small to save space. If you do have a big RV, you can choose the bigger one. It's more eco-friendly. Now, we opt for dryer sheets because a lot of washers do not do well with liquid fabric softener. It's all you really need to get started and all your dirty clothes. We do use a mesh laundry bag because in case our clothes get damp or anything like that, it does give them room to breathe so they don't get moldy. One benefit of the merino wool is that it's antimicrobial, so this doesn't really happen. Each washer set is going to be different at every laundromat. This can hold 60 pounds. How many things are in my pockets? That's what we're gonna find out. What is it? Mike really does check all of my pockets thoroughly because I have a bunch of them and I do tend to leave stuff in there. You definitely want to check because it is a public washer. Those are the overalls I was wearing when my phone fell in the porta potty. If you want to see more about this whole porta potty phone situation, you can check it out on our other social media. But these overalls had a ton of stuff in them and a ton of pockets, so it took a while to look through everything. my pockets these are the black sweats that we used to wear before unbound merino and they would truly smell bad after one wear we actually have not worn them since we got the unbound merino sweats they also take up way more space than unbound merino since all of their clothes are super packable and compact here's a glimpse at what the other washers look like you can see their small ones ours is the big 60 pounder and it actually took a long time but we fit all of our clothes into one washer load that's all of our clothes from a long time of no laundry. Once you are ready for detergent, keep in mind that every single laundromat is different and you put the detergent in a different place every single time. They do always have a diagram or some way to let you know, but just make sure that you read it before you pour. So this one says it takes six loads, which is two cups of detergent. So we are gonna add another cup. As a comparison, these only fit three loads and only take one cup of detergent. This is why we opt for liquid detergent instead of pods. It's like David Buster's. <laughs> we've never had one like this with the cart. But we've had the tokens. It's actually this. super ironic because they brought all these coins and we don't have any. All right, that's it. Some laundromats take their own tokens. This one had a card that you had to prepay and then most of them actually take cash and coins. If you have pets, it's really important to note that most laundromats restrict using your pet bedding in their machines. This one had a dedicated washer and dryer just for pets, which is awesome. Most laundromats also have Wi-Fi, and when that happens, we get to watch movies or download stuff on our phones to manage our data better. Or in my case, I just make more content and kind of hang out stay comfortable, use it as an opportunity for a break while I'm mesmerized by the washer and dryers. These are much faster than at-home washer and dryers, so it goes by quickly. 
It's really common to use one big washer and multiple dryers. We did not realize this at first and it was taking forever for our clothes to dry when we first started life on the road. Then we realized we just need to split it up into two dryer loads. Totally normal, most people do that and it makes the drying really, really fast. Check the washer when you're done. You never know what you're gonna find of your own. Again, as you're ready to pay for the dryer, Typically, washers are more expensive than dryers. They also have a default setting, so make sure you select the temperature that you want to dry your clothes. We store all of our clothes in packing cubes because we have such a small closet. Another thing that we love about Unbound Merino is that it's packable and compact. It takes up much less space compared to our other clothes like this cotton tee. Most laundromats also have a little section like this where you can fold and put away all of your clothes. We try to do this immediately because if we don't, it just doesn't get done. Here's Mike, super confused how his underwear got this giant hole. And this just goes to show you that when you're living life on the road, you need high quality clothes because they do get destroyed. I think we're gonna switch over to Undon Merino underwear after this too. If I find your clothes, it's See that stain? That's why we recommend against using liquid fabric softener and using dryer sheets because not all washing machines work well with a uh, fabric softener. And we stained probably six shirts. You can, it's easily, you can easily see it. Don't use liquid softener, use sheets. Here's me showing Mike the difference in the blacks between Unbound Merino and one of his old black shirts. You can obviously see the difference as well. His shorts are typical cotton and the shirt is the Unbound Merino. All my underwear and bras fit in this one. The longest part is honestly putting all of the clothes away because we do such big loads. But once we do laundry once, we won't have to do laundry for a long time. And that time is even longer now that we have clothes that are antimicrobial, don't stink, and look fresh for months at a time. Thank you again to Unbound Merino for sponsoring this video and letting us share with you what it actually looks like to do laundry when living in an RV. Unbound Merino helps us look good and stay fresh when we're driving, exercising, goofing around, exploring, and basically just living our day-to-day -day life. You can get 10% off with our link below.